Well, sticking on the universal train, here's something that we are much more interested in. It's something we're much more emotionally invested in. Kung Fu Panda 4. So we talked about when it was first announced. And so at CinemaCon, they offered some light details. Because uh, I don't think they're completely done with it. I think it's supposed to still come out next year. But they talked about some story details. And dude, if I wasn't hyped before. Yeah. I'm hyped now. So I don't think this is spoiler territory. They're just kind of. They pointed in the general direction of what Kung Fu Panda 4 will be, and it sounds so good. So essentially, Kung Fu Panda 4 will see Poe still as the, the dragon warrior trying to find the next dragon warrior, like train the next dragon warrior. And his enemy this time that he's going to be squaring off against will be a character called Chameleon. No, not the Spider-Man villain that's probably going to show up in the Kraven movie instead. Also coming out next year craven kung fu panda crossover please poe <laughs> live action poe still played by jack black next to aaron taylor johnson please uh no but this chameleon has an interesting power set in that he can is it bring back all the characters that poe has fought or he uses the fighting so i think he brings back all the villains that poe has defeated before so like um, is it Tai Tai Lung? Tai Lung was the first one. Yeah. Um, Ian oh, McShane geez. and Gary Oldman. Like I, I just remember. Yeah. That. Um, I but, don't remember his name. He's a peacock, though. Yeah, yeah. This this and will then be a peacock. The, the big ox guy. J.K. Simmons. J.K. Simmons. Yeah. The his his theme still gets me too to this day. Like a villain should not have a theme that is like more hype than the actual <laughs> like I mean the Panda, Kung Fu Panda theme is pretty great, but the like that villain theme from Kung Fu Panda 3 is Chef's Kiss. Uh yeah, like it, it's I'm down. Sure. This everything sounds pretty good. Uh I am curious about the villain in that i wonder how they're going to do this and make it feel a kind of fresh because that's not necessarily something like that kind of concept isn't necessarily something new um th it'll be interesting to see if he he's actually bringing back the the past villains or if it's a kind of like a jade warrior type situation from, from um kung fu panda 3 where he's bringing back like a representation of them or gonna look like um if that to me if that's the case this will be the last one um if they're gonna force him to face his his past and give him the opportunity to pass on the baton then yeah i i can see this being the uh, being the last one um although i could have seen kung fu panda 3 being the last one i so, thought three was going to be the last one yeah absolutely um at first i was a little hesitant as soon as you say we're bringing back all the old villains, my first thought is you've gone creatively bankrupt and yeah. But I think Kung Fu Panda always has that reputation of just like on paper, it doesn't sound like there'd be a lot of substance there or emotional complexity. But every single time they find an interesting, different facet to bring to the table, what I could see narratively for this, let's psychoanalyze the Kung Fu Panda franchise. Uh, I could see Poe coming to the table and be like. Okay, yeah, it's three people I've already beaten before. And then he gets all cocky with it. I'm just like, yeah, I'm the freaking dragon warrior. It's not hard to beat these guys. I could just do it again. And the fourth time around, he has to learn humility. Like, he's always been a... Poe has always been a humble, a good, kind soul. What if finally being the dragon warrior goes to his head and he has to kind of rediscover his roots of, like... Trying to pass along being the dragon warrior here, just like no one's worthy of being the next dragon warrior. I'm so Ooh. stressed about being of someone not living up to the success. And then you can get uh, Master Shifu coming along and be like, I'll be honest, when I first saw you, I didn't think you were worthy of it. Look past what you see and look at what they can be, type of thing. Like, yeah, he actually has yeah. to become the Master Shifu of the of the story and i think that's a really cool story direction i like that as well because and, and now that i'm thinking about it like i mean first movie is you know a the villain is a, you know, one, one of the biggest mistakes slash biggest villains for shifu uh and from his past second movie is uh from poe's past a villain that he did not know existed uh 
from his from his past, and then what? Uh, three is someone from Uguay's past that he he ha- had to lock away one of his greatest nemesis. So it would be yeah, like in order to have this guy who has been on top of the world it, by his own doing, but has done it with such humility and and grace and understanding of others around him, be put in this uh, in this position where he has to look past physical appearances my only issue is he's always been good at that at looking past at what you know what technically actually he learns that in in the third one because he doesn't think the that the pandas are going to be able to help him at all and then he he's able to to teach them some kung fu and have them do stuff that is true to themselves in order to help uh, help fight off the you know forces of evil and stuff so i I, I mean, there's definitely some possibilities there. I just don't know. I'm hyped for it. I just don't know how they're going to get there without retreading ground they've already done. So off the top of my head, and this is why I'm not a professional writer, um, because these ideas, once I say them, might sound stupid or it might be onto something. I have four options of who mm-hmm. Dragon Warrior could be. First, a completely new character that they introduce in this one, a la um, Shrek the Third with Prince Charming, not Prince Charming, uh, with Arthur. Uh, just a new character that Poe has to take under his wing and train to be the Dragon Warrior. Two, Tigress, the perennial uh, forever the bridesmaid, but never the bride. Of like, Tigress is probably the most well-equipped, and I think it'd be an interesting dynamic of the person that's the most inexperienced with Poe has to be the one to train Tigress. Um. Next option, Chameleon himself of converting the bad guy and actually leaving the bad guy alive this time, and actually trying to convert them to be the Dragon Warrior for good purposes this time around. <laughs> to to to, Bo, to Poe's credit, it is not like he kills them on purpose. They just always do stuff that like ends up him having to like do stuff that kills them. So to his post credit, it's not like he's out here like, no, nah, sorry, this ends with your death. So what Although you're saying I... is, so what you're saying is Poe is not a completely a skadoosh bag. <sighs> okay. Actually. Yeah. I, but I say that and he like on purpose skadooshed, uh, uh, whatever the Ty first Lung. guys. Yeah. Tai Lung. And yeah. <laughs> so that was complete murder. So yeah. <laughs> uh, Tigris chameleon of like actually convert the person this time around as opposed to you know killing them a new character or the last option is the most out of left field that I think could be really interesting narratively Master Shifu bring it Mm. full circle of Master Shifu is the one that didn't want to train Poe and now he doesn't want to learn from Poe I think that could be interesting. The, it's the last yeah. look. That's why it's the most out of left field of just like, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall to see what sticks. Uh, it could be Ugoi's la- last lesson to Master Shifu. I don't know. It's I'm not there's, married to I, it now. I'm not married yeah, to it now. Now that I say it, I'm just kind of ditching it. I think you almost have to do something somebody completely completely new because shifu and tigress have been there this the, you know this entire time for the past three movies Kill so they shifu, learned then. the less Mm, do it i dare you um but like they've been there narratively the all three movies so they've quote unquote learned the same lessons as poe has uh or through poe so i i it's hard to because it wasn't really the only reason we, they needed a dragon warrior in the first one was because tai Lung had escaped and you know ugo was like yo time for the dragon warrior so to me, they might have to expand the quote unquote lore of the Dragon Warrior just a little bit to kind of give us a reason why this is a why is Chameleon a threat that you know Poe po and the you know the five can't deal with and see Shifu. So it's like, okay, where it it makes me concerned, but I'm still hyped regardless. <laughs> 